was intercepted. And he might take this. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. There's another touchdown, and this one is really turning into a snoozer. Coach. Uh, coach. What? Whoa, what do you want? What are you doing? Oh, come on. I've seen ballets that are more exciting than this. And it's still only the first half. Hey, you still, you can't fall asleep. We're in the middle of a broadcast, not the third period of algebra. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Decent kick. Brought down by the kicker. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. I hope that this offense can put it together a little bit, because right now they are just getting rounded. It's still relatively early in this game. I mean, it's only the second quarter. I would hope that they can get it together at least a little bit before this game ends. Got his man, but he goes out of bounds. I know it's tough, but as a receiver, you really need to be aware of the sideline at all times. You know, all you can do here is practice, practice, practice. And eventually, that sideline will become a sixth sense to you. Got a man in and out of his hands. He's asking to get down right here. That was a close one, all right. If no one's open, there's nothing wrong with tucking it in and trying to pick up the first on the ground. Third and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. The linebackers shift a bit inside. Receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Option left side. Oh. Now he shows his running ability. Uh. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Bucks. Oh, what a run. Well, anytime you let the quarterback get a huge game like that on the ground, you got to be upset with your team. My point exactly, Kirk. The defensive coaches need to get these guys better prepared next time. 